This game is shaping up to be a high-scoring affair based on how both defenses have fared this season. Both teams have really struggled to stop elite teams on the schedule, and while conventional wisdom may say we don't have a good gauge for how these two teams will fare against one another, more apt competition? I disagree. Western Kentucky's defense is in dire straits. The team is 125th in EPA play, which includes allowing more than 7 yards per play to FCS foe Houston Baptist at home. While I don't rate the Middle Tennessee offense that highly, Vatio has been able to make plays in this past first offense and also leads the team in rushing yards. He has been smart with the ball, fine checking the ball down if the first read isn't there, and if his accuracy does dip, the clock will be stopped due to incompletions. On the other side, this should be another big game for Reed, who gets to face an MTSU defense that struggled against an air raid style offense last week, allowing Colorado State to score 31 points on a 0.43 EPA dropback, which grades out as an 87th percentile passing game when compared to last season. Both teams are average in terms of pace, but both defenses are going to be scrambling to slow down the aerial attack of both teams, leading to a higher scoring game. Therefore, I gotta go. Middle Tennessee, Western Kentucky, over 60 and a half. What say you? Let me know in the comment section. Always interested to hear your take, but whatever it is you're doing, tailing or fading, may the winner be yours. Good luck, gang. Go get them. This is Trending Rabbit.